Hello everyone, uh, my name is Oscar Alec and I'm representing a team from the Computational Media and Astronomy Departments at UC Santa Cruz. I'd like to tell you about Polyform, which is our tool for structural analysis of large cosmological datasets using a PISAR and polycephalon visualization. So our motivation for this work was to reconstruct and visualize the three-dimensional structure and distribution of the cosmic web. So let me tell you first what the cosmic web is and then how we go about reconstructing and visualizing it. So the cosmic web has been first detected by the Millennium Simulation in 2005 and as you can see in the animation it is a large uh, network or web-like structure that interconnects entire galaxies and galactic clusters together. Uh, the composition is mostly uh, diffuse gas and uh, presumably also dark matter. And you can kind of get a feeling for how large this structure is by, you know, uh, how long we've been zooming in and we're just starting to see individual galaxies as these bright spots. Uh, since then, the uh, cosmic web was detected by other uh, simulations, uh, for instance, the Eagle and Bolshoi Planck simulations uh, in recent years. But when it comes to real observed data, uh, it's very difficult to, to see the cosmic web. Uh, here is a picture produced by Hubble, and you can see individual galaxies here, but you cannot really see any cosmic web. And the reason is just how diffuse the gas uh, of the, that constitutes the cosmic web is, plus we cannot really detect the dark matter, as you probably know. There are these indirect imprints of the cosmic web. Uh, for instance, here in the cosmic background radiation, we see a trace of it, but this is not enough to actually reconstruct and analyze it. So the main task here was uh, reconstructing and visualizing the, the structure uh, of the cosmic web just using galaxy data only. So here in the left, you see 37,000 galaxies from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which is uh, our canonical data set in this work. And this is a 2D projection of these galaxies in, in 3D space um, from which we can we want to obtain the cosmic web estimate. There are two groups of tasks that uh, we had in doing this. So first of all, we wanted to uh, obtain the, the structure and density distribution itself, and then also use visualization to, to kind of aid this process and, and navigate the expert in providing the, the reconstruction from this data. So let me tell you about these, these two groups of tasks in, in more detail. Um, First, regarding the structure, it's, it's very difficult to, to obtain. Um, the reason is that first principle simulations based on physics are extremely expensive. So the ones I mentioned are, you know, they took months to actually perform on supercomputers. So you really don't want to do this more than a couple times. And secondly, uh, first principle simulations start from initial conditions like, like a diffuse distribution of the gas rather than from actual observed data. So they cannot actually give you a, a reconstruction that fits today's data, uh, the, the galaxy positions themselves, that is. So to, to aid us in this, in this challenge, uh, we took advantage of the slime mold. Uh, so the slime mold, as you might know, is a unicellular organism. It's a protist, uh, which means it's a very old organism. And uh, the unique thing that slime mold does is that it searches its environment for sources of food by climbing chemical gradients emitted by food. And in doing so, uh, it actually grows its body in various directions, and it tries to in interconnect all these sources of food by these networks of, of filaments, uh, which are basically tubes composed of its own uh, tissue. And by doing so, it actually uh, constructs a, a near-optimal near transport network, as has been shown in, in many works uh, in the past. For instance, here is a, a famous work from Terra et al, uh, where they fitted the slime mold to uh, quite accurately reconstruct the Tokyo railway system. And there are other works that show that the slime mold is actually a very good uh, you know, solver of these tasks. So for us, uh, quoting a paper from, uh, from two years ago, uh, the filaments of the cosmic web appear to be the highways of the universe. Uh, the transport channels along which the mass and galaxies get channeled into higher density cluster regions and which define the connecting structures between higher density complexes. So in other words, this means that the cosmic web is the transport network of the universe. 
and we are using slime mold to reconstruct it. Now, using the actual organism would be extremely impractical. So what we do instead is rely on a simulation. So we use this, this hybrid method, uh, first proposed by Jones in 2010, uh, and since used, for instance, by Say Jensen to create this beautiful uh, animation art. The model itself is quite simple. It uses a swarm of particle-like agents, uh, in our case, millions of these agents that kind of free flow in the environment. And then a second modality uh, that represents the density of these agents and also density of the attractant emitted by the galaxies, which are uh, interpreted as, as a food source by the, by the model. And basically looping between these two modalities, we get the, all this complex, uh, beautiful behavior. Now, the key thing is the agents. So what they do uh, is that they sense their environment in every uh, step they make. And then based on the sensing, they sample uh, in which direction they should actually move. And then they simply move in that direction forward. So when you take all these three steps together, you obtain what, what you can call a random walk. So the agent actually steps through the environment and tries to follow the, uh, the distribution of the attractant that's emitted by the galaxies. And here is visualized by this, this great uh, kind of shade. And, you know, this is just a single agent, but superimposing millions of these agents actually gives you a three-dimensional density field, which we uh, interpret as the reconstruction of the cosmic web. Here's an example of that. So in the right, you see uh, our adaptation of the, of the prior work by Jones. And while this is a beautiful structure, it's actually very sparse and condensed. And so to overcome that, we uh, improve the model by uh, having the agents have a probabilistic or a stochastic behavior rather than deterministic, you know, just follow the maximum gradient uh, kind of thing. And what this did for us was it increased the expressivity of the model and um, our experiments actually showed that this is a much, much better uh, distribution uh, as compared to the uh, real uh, cosmic web distribution. So this is what we are using to, to do the reconstruction. As far as the visualization goes, um, we have implemented a combination of particle and volume visualization. Uh, all of these are interactively uh, running on the GPU. And we have several modalities that essentially uh, correspond to, to different tasks that the astronomers are, are looking to perform when doing the reconstruction. So I encourage you to try the software and uh, check out our paper to, to see or to read more uh, details about these tasks. Now, there are three scientific use cases which we use Polyform for. So first of them is the reconstruction of the cosmic web from the galaxy data itself. And here um, we obtained the first uh, full three-dimensional uh, density map, a density field, if you will, that actually is, is a dense reconstruction of the cosmic web from this galaxy data. You can see in these uh, zoom-ins here that the individual galaxies represented as yellow blobs are quite meaningfully interconnected by the, by the slime mold. And it really uh, is kind of an intuitive interconnection of this data into one single uh, transport network. Um, here you can see this, this animated. So this is a uh, 3D field of galaxies. Um, this is, uh, this is, you know, you can already see some, uh, some patterns in there, but the cosmic web itself is really not uh, apparent completely. Um, and then superimposing our reconstruction on top of this data, you can actually see that it creates this dense uh, network of filaments that, that very nicely align with the data and actually um, represent a, a meaningful cosmic web reconstruction as we were able to uh, validate in our study published in Astrophysical Journal Letters. So, and here is the cosmic web without the data, so you can just see how, how this, this structure looks uh, very organic and just kind of intuitively meaningful, at least, as we found it to be. So the second task, uh, or use case, has been to map the simulated slime density to cosmic overdensity. So what this means is that uh, we need a, a physically meaningful quantity, which uh, astronomers understand and this is the, called the cosmic overdensity. How we did this was 
uh, taking a, a simulated data set uh, from the already mentioned bullshit blank simulation um, and then fitting to the data set to obtain a dense uh, three-dimensional map uh, of this simulated data and then using the ground truth data which this simulation provides we cross-correlated the, the slime uh, density distribution and the actual cosmic overdensity distribution and obtained the mapping that we further used in all the analyses of the real galactic data. Finally, a third task uh, or use case uh, we've been able to do is inferring the cosmic web contribution uh, to an, a fast radio burst dispersion measure. So fast radio burst is a flash of very high energy radiation that comes from somewhere in the universe. So in this case, it comes from uh, the right side of this red sight line, and then it travels towards us, towards Earth on the left here. And using Polyform, we were able to, to show that it is really the cosmic web uh, in between the source of the uh, fast radio burst and Earth that corresponds to the dispersion measure as the ASTA numbers have observed it. And this study has been also published recently in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Um, and uh, it's kind of the first of its kind study. So the key take home message is that Polyform has actually expanded our understanding of the cosmic web through a tight interactive coupling between bio-inspired simulation and visualization. Uh, in the future, we want to expand our search so to fit to more galaxies and more complex data sets. Here is a uh, early prototype fitting to 300,000 galaxies obtained from the Sloan Digital Sky, uh, Sloan Digital Sky uh, survey data set. In addition, we want to uh, fit to different data sets. So we are already working on, on fitting to language embedding data, which is an example you can see on the top here. Uh, this is also presented here at, at VIS in the uh, VIS for DH workshop. And because of its organic qualities, we also think that uh, we can actually fit to or obtain different biological scaffoldings. So for instance, uh, things like bone marrow uh, could be reconstructed or produced by this model. And on top of that, uh, we imagine that uh, fitting to different data like epidemiology, uh, real-time traffic simulation and other optimal transfer problems in three and higher dimensions could be actually uh, useful uh, kind of domains for this model. So we are definitely looking for your input here. I would like to thank Jan Ivanensky for uh, developing an early prototype of Polyform. Uh, without him, this research would never uh, probably happen. And also NASA and NVIDIA for uh, their, their funding support. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, you can find the research and the code in, in these links. And I will just leave you with the video of the software itself and happy to take your questions. Thank you.